Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maddie. I run EdTech Classroom, the blog, podcast, and of course, YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom headers for Google Keep. Google Keep is an amazing tool to help you stay organized. It's great for managing to-do lists, reminders, and so much more. If you're looking for a complete tutorial video on how to use Google Keep, I will have another video linked for you in the description down below so you can learn how to get started. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to elevate your Google Keep, how to make it a little bit more fun by creating your own custom headers. So without further ado, let's get started. I forgot to mention this when I was recording the tutorial, but if you are interested in using my Google Keep headers, if you really like the file that I put together and you aren't interested in creating your own, I will have a link to mine included in the description down below. That way you can check it out and download it to have your own copy. <music> in Google Keep, I just went to keep.google.com and I wanted to show you this first so you can get an idea of what these headers actually look like. So typically when you write a note in Google Keep, let's say I just have one that says to do and I just type in some random text here, this is what the headers typically look like. So you'll see it's this text here that says to do, it's slightly bigger, it's bolded, and then we have our text that consists of the body of the message down here below. So I personally really like to customize my Google Keep by creating the header images that you see across my screen here. So we have today to do's, tomorrow to do's, this week, important reminders, and more. So all of these are actually image files that I created in Google Slides. In this video, I am going to be using Google Slides to teach you how to make these headers. However, you can do this in PowerPoint as well if that's a tool that you prefer using. So now we're gonna move over to Google Slides and I'm gonna walk you through how to create these fun headers. So now we are looking at a Google Slides file that I put together. This is the file that I use to create all of the amazing headers that you saw on the Google Keep tab. We're just gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here to create a new slide. For me to create a new slide, I'm gonna to go to slide, new slide. You will likely wanna start out by using a new Google Slides file. So open up a blank file and I'm gonna show you a few steps to help you get organized and get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of the text boxes that are on the screen here because I'm not going to be using them. So I can just highlight them and press delete on my keyboard to get rid of those text boxes. Now, something that you might notice is that the layout here is slightly different from what you typically see when you create a new Google Slides file. That's because I actually adjusted the size of the slide here because I want it to be able to fit in Google Keep. Now, I played around with this a bunch and finally found the perfect dimensions, so I'm gonna show you how to resize and what those dimensions are. To resize your Google Slides, you're going to go to the file button in the top left hand corner and you're going to go all the way down to where it says page setup. Once you click on page setup, you'll see a drop down menu right here and you're going to want to select custom. Typically when I open up Google Slides, it's selected as widescreen 16 by nine, but I'm going to click on that drop down menu and then select the button that says custom. Then once you click on custom, you will be able to type in your own custom dimensions. So the dimensions for Google Keep to create your own header images are going to be six by three inches. So you'll wanna make sure that you click on the units drop down menu and you select inches instead of pixels. So select inches and then type in six by three. Then when you're ready, you can press the button that says apply. If you're having trouble figuring out how to resize your Google Slides, I will have another tutorial video linked for you below that walks you through how to do that. It can be particularly useful if you're wanting to create something that's printable so that you can create something that's like eight and a half by 11 so that you can print your Google Slides on a piece of paper. Now that we have resized our Google Slides to be the ideal dimensions for Google Keep, it's time for us to begin adding some text. So there's a couple different ways that you can add text. Typically, I find myself using this text box feature the most. However, I actually really like to use word art for creating these header images for Google Keep. I'm gonna show you how I create this sort of 3D effect 
that you see with some of my other um, headers. So to add word art, instead of clicking on text box, I'm gonna go here to where it says insert, and then I'm going to click on the option here that says word art. Now you can begin typing in what you would like for your text to say. I'm just going to type in to do here in all caps, and then I'm going to press enter to add this text here. So now my word art has been added, and I am going to play around with adjusting the font. To change the font of your word art, you do this much like how you change your font typically with regular text. You're going to click on the drop down menu here under the font menu, and then you are going to select your font. For my previous Google uh, Keep headers, I was using the font called Spicy Rice. So I'm going to scroll down till I find Spicy Rice. It's right here, and I'm going to click on it. If you do not have Spicy Rice added and you are interested in using this, if you're searching through your fonts and you can't find it, you can actually upload this font for free by just clicking on this button up at the top here that says more fonts and then typing spicy rice into the search bar to find your ideal font. So I'm going to click on spicy rice since I've already uploaded mine. And now you'll see that it has the font has changed and it's starting to look more like my other header images. Now what I can do is I can move this to the center of my page here and I'm going to play around with making this a color and making it look a little bit more 3D. If we take a look at one of these other ones, for example, if we click on random, you'll see how this almost has the illusion of it being 3D. We have this black outline that's slightly off center from the text underneath. Um, that just kind of elevates this look and I think it looks just really nice as a header for Google Keep. So we'll go back to the slide that we were working on and first what I'm going to want to do is I want to change the color. To change the color, instead of changing the font color like you typically would when you're changing your font, you're going to want to navigate to this paint bucket tool, the fill color tool, and you can select one of the colors. You can choose one of the colors that are down here or to create your own color to select your own color. You can click on this plus button right here and you can kind of drag your mouse around to find the shade that you're looking for. You also could type in a hex code if you have one in mind that you would like to use. I'm going to press cancel and I'm going to go back to the paint bucket tool and I'm going to choose a color that I like. I'm going to choose this blue one um, that I created earlier. The hex code for this is A7FFEB in case you're interested in using this um, when you're creating your own headers. I'm going to click on it and now you'll see that the color has changed. Now I personally like to actually remove the border on this one so that I can create that off-center border that you were seeing when we were looking at the random slide. So I'm going to remove the border here by clicking on this border color button and then clicking transparent. If you like everything to be aligned, if you like the way this border looks, you could make it black, you could play around with the thickness, let's say you wanted to make it really thick, you could do that. However, I am going to make this transparent for now because I like that um, sort of off-centered border that we were looking at with the example under the random slide. So now what I will do is I'm actually going to make a copy and I'm going to paste this here. So I just did command C of the to-do text on my keyboard, then I did command V to paste it. Now I'm going to put it a little bit on top here, right on top of the center. Now we're going to actually change the colors here. So instead of having this be blue, I'm going to make this be transparent, okay? So now this text, you cannot see it. Instead, what I'm going to add is I'm going to adjust the border color. I'm going to make it black and I'm going to lower the thickness. I'm going to make this be two pixels. I think that looks pretty good. So now you'll see it's directly on top. For us to make it off-centered, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with moving it up and to the right a little bit. To do that on my Mac keyboard, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on the text that I want to adjust. I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and I'm going to click on the up arrow key. What I like about holding down shift is it actually makes it so that you're object will move in smaller increments. If I were to not press shift and just press the up arrow, you'll see that the text box moves quite a bit. If I just undo that by doing command Z, and now if I click shift on my keyboard and I click the up arrow, 
you'll see that it's moving in very small increments. Now I can move it slightly to the right till I think it looks good. And then when I'm done, I can just click off to the side. So that is how I create the illusion that I've made this three-dimensional looking Google Keep header. So next, what I wanna show you how to do is how to add an icon image. So of course, if you're done, if you think this looks good and this is what you want your Keep headers to look like, that's amazing. Some of mine I choose not to include images in, but I do wanna show you how to do that in case that's something that you're interested in learning how to do. So next, what we are going to do is we are going to click on this insert button we're gonna hover our mouse over image and we're gonna click on this button that says search the web. Now you'll see on the right hand side of our screen, this search bar has appeared where we can actually search Google images for a specific photo. So I'm going to type in list icon and I'm going to press enter and you'll see that all of these different icons have appeared. I personally really like to use icons. I think that they're just a nice way to have a simple graphic that still looks fun, but isn't too busy. But of course you can use any image that you would like. You can also use any font, any color that you would like. All of this is completely customizable. I'm just showing you what I'd like to create. So I'm gonna click on this first image here because I like this one the best. And I'll click on it, then I'll press insert. And it has now been added to my slide here. So I can actually just resize this and change the dimensions a little bit. And I think what I'm gonna do for this one is I think I'm going to move this text to the left and have this icon be on the right. So because we have two different text boxes here, you actually wanna make sure that you are highlighting both of the word arts to move them so that they stay in line with each other. And I'm gonna move this a little bit to the side and I think that that looks pretty good. So now I've created this Google Keep header in Google Slides. You can also do this in PowerPoint. Obviously this tutorial walks you through how to do this in slides, but did wanna name that you can use PowerPoint as well. Now that I've created this the way that I like it, there's a couple different ways that we can save this to our computer. So what you will wanna do is you will actually wanna save the slide as an image for you to be able to then upload to Google Keep. To save this as an image, first you could go to File, then you could go to, let's see where the button is, Download, and then you could save this as a PNG or a JPEG image file, either one works. I personally find that that's not super high quality, so what I actually like to do is I like to take a screenshot because I just think that it saves a little bit better. So the way I'm going to take a screenshot is on my Mac, I'm going to hold down Command, Shift, and then four. Then you'll see that I have this ability to take a screenshot. So I just did Command Shift 4 on my keyboard and I'm going to click and drag the area that I would like to screenshot and when I'm ready I can I try to line it up as close as I can so that the dimensions look pretty good then I can release and now this screenshot is going to save to my desktop. Again, if you're having trouble figuring out how to get the screenshot to work, you can just go to File, Download, and then select JPEG Image. I just personally like to take a screenshot. It's what works well for me. Now I'm going to go back to Google Keep. So I'm gonna open up my Google Keep tab, and now you'll see where I've taken this note, I'm actually going to delete this header text here. The title I'm gonna delete. Now I'm going to click on this button here that says Add Image. So we're in Google Keep, I've taken a note, I've deleted the title, and now we're going to click Add Image. When I press Add Image, you'll see that it opens up my desktop, yours might open up to your downloads folder, both work, just navigate to where you actually took your image. Mine is on my desktop here underneath Screenshot, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to press Open. So now you'll see my header has been added. Now what I can do is I actually can type out my list here. My list is here. And if you want to change the background color so that it's not just all white, you can actually play around with adjusting this by clicking on background options and then selecting the color. I have put together all of these different colors that match. So if you're actually looking for the exact hex codes of all of these different Google Keep options, I will have them included in the description down below. That way you can select the exact color that you would like to use for the text up above. 
So now that I've done this, I can just click off to the side and you'll see that I've added my own header to Google Keep. I think that this looks really nice. Of course, it's not necessary in order for Google Keep to work well, but I do like the way that it looks. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about how to create your own headers for Google Keep. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye friends.